Hey kids, Miss Kulkarni here. In this video, we will continue with organic chemistry and we will discuss condensation reactions between an alcohol and carboxylic acid. It's also called as esterification reaction. So let's find out first of all how the reactions take place and what are the conditions and how we name the esters. When an alcohol is treated with a carboxylic acid, we get ester. But of course, we need to have a catalyst for that. And the catalyst is usually an acid. So typically, we use concentrated sulfuric acid as a catalyst. What are the products? The product, of course, is an ester, as it is shown in this reaction. And... It also produces small quantity of water, H2O. Since the final product is an ester, we also call this process as esterification. And we also name it sometimes as Fischer esterification after the scientist's name. Let's actually look at some examples now. Here is our carboxylic acid, that is COOH group, and that's our alcohol there. So definitely it's a reaction which is a condensation or an esterification reaction. Now how did we end up getting that as a product? Let's find out what actually happens in the reaction. The hydrogen from carboxylic acid and the OH from the alcohol both are removed and we get H2O there which we write on the product side as plus H2O. And now it's the bond connection directly between this oxygen with the methyl group. So basically, if you look at the product here, this part comes from the acid and we have the remaining part which comes from alcohol. And how do we name this ester? I'm pretty sure you will remember this from the previous naming esters video. So we begin with the methyl group from alcohol here and then the carboxylic acid has three carbon atoms that stands for propane. So it was propionic acid and we end that ester with O-A-T-E so it becomes propanoate. So the final compound is methyl propanoate. Now let's look at the next example. Sometimes I prefer to write alcohol underneath the acid. You know why? Because over here I can easily take this H and OH out and now I know the bond is going to be between the oxygen and that carbon. So the final compound is right over here. And can you name this compound now? There you go. The carboxylic acid has four carbon atoms, so that was butanoic acid. So we made that into butanoate and this is ethyl group coming from alcohol. So it is ethyl butanoate. Let's work on two more examples. This is benzoic acid and that's methanol. See what happens. We remove that water molecule from there. We get an ester and we name that as methyl benzoate. The next reaction looks similar, but look at the groups. They are switched. So there comes the water molecule and look at the final product. That is the benzyl group here. So it's benzyl and the carboxylic acid has two carbon atoms. So it is ethanoate, benzyl ethanoate. Now, if we know the final ester, can we find out the starting compounds? Of course you can. The easiest way to find out that is split the ester after that carboxylic group. And now remember that the part which comes after that oxygen is coming from alcohol and the part that includes carboxyl group is coming from carboxylic acid. So what would be the starting materials for that? Of course, it's going to be the compound which is butanoic acid and this is the alcohol. So it will be ethyl alcohol or ethanol. Now, what if you are given a ball and stick model of the ester? How are we going to name that? Let's begin labeling those carbon atoms. 
So there we go. These are our four carbon atoms here. Okay. And the red atom must be oxygen. What about the white atoms? Those must be hydrogen atoms. So if we translate that ball and stick model into the structure, this is what we get. And how do we name this compound? Let's divide that after that carboxyl group. Whatever comes after that is the alcohol part that will be ethyl. And this is the acid part. We got two carbon atoms there. That is ethane and ethanoic acid. So it will be ethanoate. And the compound will be ethyl ethanoate. So that is our esterification process. And what are the practical applications and uses of this process? They have variety of applications. Esters usually have fragrant and very pleasant odors. So these are used in perfumes. They can be also used in food flavorings. They can be also used in different essential oils and cosmetics. There are some other examples. Esters are also very good organic solvents to dissolve some substances for reactions. Then there are polymers of esters which we call as polyesters. They can be used for making different type of plastics. And also esters can be used in making some surfactants like soaps and detergent. So with all that, we can definitely say that the condensation reaction between an alcohol and carboxylic acid or the esterification process is definitely a very important process in organic chemistry. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you again in next video. Until then, bye-bye.